everyone. Today I am in our quarantine building to talk about one of our animals that we keep off exhibit. Let's see, can anybody guess who might be making that noise? <laughs> if anybody guessed pigs, you're correct. So these are Visayan warty pigs. They are native to the Visayan Islands in the Philippines. So we have two boys here. Um, this right here, this is Kalugo. And we've got his brother, Baboy, over here. <laughs> so Visayan warty pigs usually have a lifespan of 10 to 15 years. Hey, don't do that. Um, our boys here are three years old. So they're still pretty young. Uh, they will be turning four later on this year in the fall. So you can see they've got this nice fancy hairdo going on right now. I'm going to give him a carrot so that he stops chewing on this window. <laughs> so you see how they have this nice long hair? The Zion warty pigs, they grow that hair every year in the fall. And that is a sign that it is breeding time. So when they're ready to breed, they will grow this long hair on top of their heads and down, all down their spines. And they, that's a sign that they're ready to breed. And they will kind of shed that hair in the early spring, early to mid-springs. And the rest of their hair will look shorter, kind of like what they have going on on the sides here. <laughs> so... Pigs are omnivorous, and that includes warty pigs. Uh, they are, they mostly eat fruits and veggies and are herbivorous, but they are able to eat uh, animals and things like that too, if they, if they chose to. So these guys here at the zoo, they have a special type of grain that we feed them that's made specifically for pigs, and then we also give them fresh fruits and veggies every day. So like you could see, I gave him a, a carrot just now. We've got the boy in the back there chewing on his carrot. <laughs> um, so, warty pigs are pretty intelligent creatures. All pigs are. Um, pigs are considered to be one of the mo most intelligent animals here on the planet, which is pretty cool. There has actually been documentation of warty pigs using tools in a zoo in France. So there was a, I'm not sure if it was a study or if it was just an observation that was made, but they saw a female warty pig using some sticks to help dig around in the soil to help root up uh, foods, roots and tubers and that sort of thing, uh, which is a pretty new discovery. We didn't know that pigs could use tools. So that was pretty neat to learn about. I don't doubt it for a second. These guys are some of the smartest animals I work with. <laughs> so, warty pigs are named for uh, this sort of fleshy warts that they have on the sides of their face. If you can kind of see, kind of on the on the sides over here, um, and those warts are thought to be used primarily as a sort of defense when males fight with each other especially during breeding season or something like that. If there are fights, it's sort of like a nice padding. <laughs> so unfortunately, these boys do not have an exhibit here at Chiha at the moment, which is why they do live in this back building. They've got a nice yard and some rooms and you can see we have a little bit of a wallow set up over here. Pigs do like to wallow, especially in the warmer months. It's, it gets kind of warm out, they need a place to cool down, and who doesn't like to go jump in a pool when it's hot out, right? So we have this set up for them. <laughs> we got this nice little window here. You see those nice tusks. You won't want to mess with these guys. So 
So in the wild, warty pigs can, they do typically live in a family grouping. So that can be anywhere from two to, I think it's about six individuals. Uh, usually the males will uh, not stay with the family grouping, but these boys get along all right with each other. They have a, a den box that we have set up over here for them. We have another one in one of their other rooms. And they actually tend to pile up with each other at night when they're ready to go sleep. And they'll just kind of cuddle up close to each other, um, especially in colder months. When it's colder and they need to share that body heat. So as I was talking about earlier, how they have this longer hair on their heads and down their spines. You can see with Klugo here, he is pretty relaxed, so his hair is pretty relaxed. If you, oh, well now he's standing in the way. Let's see. Klugo, come over here. Come over here for a second. All right, if you can kind of see his brother in the back there, his hair is standing a little higher up. Uh, when warty pigs get excited, if they become alarmed or they're excited, uh, their hair will stand up. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that's going to be it for today. Uh, let us know in the comments if there are any other animals you would like us to talk about or if you have any questions about these guys here. Uh, stay safe and everybody have a good day.